Hey, this is Joe, the Unsend All founder, and I'd like to give an update on Unsend All in 2025. The first thing I would do is just thank everybody who supported me until this point, uh, 1,200 plus customers served, 1.5 million messages on sent, and two and a half years in business. I don't want to harp on it too long, but you know I have the best customers out there. You know who I'm talking about. If uh, we've emailed them through a support channel, if you've done a beta version, help me out. I uh, just wanted to thank everybody because obviously without the customers, there is no business, there is no unsend all, um, and I won't be here to serve anybody. So thank you, and let's dive right in. So the biggest change has been the addition of this new API version dropdown. So for certain customers, they won't be able to sync chats with the button if they don't bump to API v2. Now I recommend everybody stays on API v1, especially for logging in because API v2 is pretty buggy with, lo with logging in. Uh, but if you click it, you'll see the Instagram viewer updates and then sync chats should work for you regardless of what customer you are. Again, I recommend staying on v1, but if you absolutely have to, in the case that sync chats button will not work on v1, you should switch to v2 and that will get your problem resolved. The next major change increases the reliability of the syncing process. So previously, if you had already synced messages like I do here, here I have two messages with your app synced up, and you press unsend all, it would have blown out all of your synced messages and resynced everything and then started unsending. Now, if you only have two messages like I do here, it's not really a big deal. But if you have thousands, that indicates that it may have taken you an hour, two hours or so to actually sync in all of your messages in the first place. So pressing unsend all, pressing sync and unsend messages, or pressing resync chats, would have blown out the messages which you already had, forcing you to resync, which not only makes the application less reliable because you have to resync everything, which means that many more requests to Instagram, it will also make unsending take a much longer time. So some of these safeguards that I've added around there should help people successfully unsend their messages in the shortest amount of time possible. And to successfully do that, what you do is you use the unsend synced button if you already have your messages synced. That works off of the previously synced list so you don't have to resync everything and add a bunch of time and complexity. And similarly for premium, you'd use the unsend all sync messages button. There's a new version indicator at the top in case you have any issue with a specific version, it's easier to track this way. You're able to upgrade your plan directly within the app. I've also added a direct access to the contact us form within the app. Just makes it a little easier for customers to get in touch with me. Definitely reach out if you have any issues, I'm pretty fast to respond. Besides that, a lot of the updates that have been done this year are just things you can't see, such as API updates that make unsending more reliable for everybody, keeping up with Instagram's API changes, which have been a little bit more this year than previously, but after two and a half years in the business, I'm pretty used to it. And the app is the same as it's always been, so you know your ever stealth features. If you want to unsend from oldest to newest, if you want to target messages with a specific word only, you got to sign up for a stealth plan. And now if you want to unsend all of your messages across all your chats, pretty much automatically, select multiple chats at once with these boxes, then you need a premium plan. You can combine the premium and the stealth plans. If you don't need these two features, you only have one or two chats or up to five chats that you want to unsend, you can get the basic plan. The basic plan gives you all this, unsend all, sync messages and unsend sync buttons down in an individual row for use with just a couple people or a group chat, uh, but not able to do it all at once like you could do with a premium plan. And that's about it. Again, thanks for everybody who's been with me so far on this journey. If you're a customer or want to become a customer, hit me up, contact me on the contact page on unsend all. I have a link in the description and I'll catch you on the flip side. Uh, always happy to have people join the family and happy unsending. That's the May 2025 update.